The next feature in our Houdini 10 countdown is network usability. Houdini's node-based networks are the heart of its procedural approach, and with Houdini 10 you will enjoy fewer clicks and a higher level of productivity. The first thing you will notice is the new Network Editor toolbar, which gives you quick access to a number of key UI elements. At the left you will find buttons for the list view, the node overview, and the color picker, which is used to add color to nodes to help organize your network. The next button lets you select a group of nodes, then apply a network box. New to Houdini 10 is support for nested network boxes that help you organize nodes within an existing network box. Another new feature in Houdini 10 is sticky notes, which let you add intercommunications to your network. This facilitates dialogue with your colleagues and helps make your networks more readable. This feature is important when you are in production and need to quickly understand how a file works. At the right are tools for organizing your nodes. The grid button turns on a background grid and lets you snap nodes to it. If you choose not to use a grid, then you can line up related nodes in your network with auto-align. For organizing lots of nodes, you can use the Align tools, which provide a familiar interface for aligning and distributing nodes. Houdini 10 also improves network usability by making it easier to connect and disconnect nodes. Here you can see a node is taken out of a network by simply wiggling your mouse. It is just as easy to put it back. Simply drop it onto a network connector and it is inserted between the connecting nodes. This technique also works with a chain of nodes. Select a few nodes and wiggle to free them from the network. Now you can drop them in another location and they will be inserted into the chain. To organize these nodes, you can also use the shift and control keys. Press Shift to move this chain down. Press Control to move all the parent nodes. These options are very helpful when you need to move large parts of the network and do not want to select all of the related nodes. Network usability has also been improved for VEX operators, otherwise known as VOPs. In previous versions, connecting inputs and outputs of different types would only work if you piped them through a conversion node. Now with Houdini 10, this conversion is done automatically, which helps reduce clutter in your VOP nets. If you want a conversion node, then you can simply middle-click on the input connector and choose the appropriate conversion. In cases where more than one conversion type might be possible, then several options are offered to you. Houdini artists spend a lot of time in the network editor, which makes these usability enhancements critical for reducing clicks. The editor has also been optimized to make large network display much more interactive. Houdini 10 makes working with networks easier than ever.